All right, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing good. Thank you for joining me into our first live stream on our website, usamastersboxing.com. Hopefully, we got everything hooked up, ready to go, and uh, we've run through no uh, no errors today. Um, we had a couple issues yesterday when we tried, but uh, that's okay. We learned from it, and now we fixed them, and we're ready to go. We're here live now. So do me a favor, for those of you that are on, do me a favor and get on the chat. Let me know who's on. And then also, as the stream is going, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are having any, any issues or anything like that, I would greatly appreciate it because it'll let me know what's going on. <clears throat> Today, we're going to have a special guest. And uh, before we bring in our special guest, we're going to go through a couple of things, kind of let you guys know what's going on with the website what are some of the new things that are happening with the website? And uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, there's going to be a lot more that we're going to be cleaning up and kind of renewing the website. Uh, so it has a better feel for, for you guys. It's also easier to maneuver through and uh, easier to find, um, you know, specific information that you might want or need as a master boxer. Okay, so check it out. Um, let's, uh, let's go through the website real quick. I'll show you guys uh, kind of what's new and then what's going to be coming also um, from the website. Okay, so check it out. Over this through. is the website and uh, easier to find, um, you know, specific information that you might want or need as a master boxer. Okay, so check it out. Um, let's uh, let's go through the website real quick. I'll show you guys uh, kind of what's new and then what's going to be coming also um from the website okay so check it out Over this through. is the website and uh easier to find um you know specific information that you might want or need as a master boxer okay so check it out um let's uh let's go through the website real quick i'll show you guys uh kind of what's new and then what's going to be coming also um from the website okay there we so go okay so now my audio is on so now you guys can hear me so let's go back so this is the website and obviously uh we kind of freshened it up a little bit we got some new pictures on here we have information that's that's uh strolling through at the top for example like this one master's boxing live stream every week tuesdays we go. Okay. at uh 5 p.m pacific so standard on, time 8 p.m so eastern standard so time then so we have some action shots from some of you master boxers um then if you uh, scroll down we have um, a, a small description of what USA here. Masters Boxing is, that's, that's, uh, um, what it takes to compete, at the top, and uh, example, so on like and so one, forth. Right below boxing that, we have uh, week, Tuesday, Masters Boxing so Donation. At, uh, Obviously, this helps out with the website, but now also we need a little help with you know the live streaming that we're doing directly to the website. And right below that, as you can see, we have our live stream going on, right? So so then below that and, uh, some more information so about so masters forth, boxing right that, and uh, uh some details on masters you know how to compete donation. if they click here they can get the medical and form and also and then if they click here with, below uh, that you know, the, they the can go to uh usa boxing and register as a master boxer right below that and then the upcoming events is also uh Right. You know, highlights an so, event uh, and, uh, so then, you know, what it's that, about and all that. So if we go back and, up and, uh, and we go back to our main menu, you know, if we go to the events page here, here they can the get the medical and form. Also, and then if they, what will happen on the events page is we just updated all the events that we know of that are master tournaments that are happening throughout the country throughout the year. Okay, so you have Rude Dog that's coming up. Then you have the Doc Doherty uh, Boxing Classic. Uh, that's in July. You have the Midwest Masters Boxing Tournament. That's also in July. Then you have um, <clears throat> then you have the Dallas Masters uh, Boxing Invitational, which is in August. And then you have Gleason's, which is in August as well. And then in September we have the New Jersey Masters uh, Boxing Championships at the Showboat in Atlantic City. So. We've refreshed all this. Um, what we're gonna do is we're also gonna put a library of all our live stream shows and then also um, of videos from our events. Because again, remember, we're gonna be doing all our live streams directly to 
We're going to be doing all our live streams directly to our website. So that way everything is there. It's easier for uh, your friends and families to actually go to just go to the website. And as you can see, it's already on and going. OK, so just make sure that you share that information with your loved ones. Um, but we'll be doing a library of all this as well as the bouts and everything. Um, you know, so it'll take a little bit of time, but we're going to get it there. And then also we're going to be doing a library of articles that we've done from the Masters Boxing Magazine. And we'll have all of the articles that uh, we've done so far. We'll put them up there and uh, that way we have some more content and uh, great content that you guys can enjoy. All right. What do you guys think so far? Do you guys like it? You know, what do you guys think? Give me, give me some, uh, give me some information. I think currently I only have one person on, which is Stan the man. Um, Stan, who also trains with our uh, soon to be on special guest, um, is on here. What's going on, Stan? What's happening? How, how's it look so far, bud? How's the live stream look so far? Give me some, give me some feedback. I'm going to type in real quick as well. As we can see, everything is live. Um, even the chat room. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So I think everybody, uh, <laughs> everybody either thought, uh, you know what? Um, we had, we had, we tried the live stream yesterday, so who knows when it's going to be again, uh, and forgot that we were going to redo it today, but, uh, sound was a little off Was it a little off. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. It, it was a little bit off when I first got to the website because, uh, when I switch over to channels, it turns my, my mic off. So whatever is playing that gets played, but, uh, you know, just getting used to it a little bit. We'll get there. We'll get there. But um, check it out. This is the great thing about it, too, is that when we have our sponsors and everything, we can show their commercials. We can show their logos without any interference from, say, a YouTube or anything like that. So uh, anybody that wants to be a sponsor, check it out. And there you go. You see what I'm saying? So there's going to be a lot of things that we're going to implement. We're going to bring to the table. Shout out to Title Boxing for their constant support. You know, we love you guys. If anybody needs any boxing gear, make sure you check out uh, TitleBoxing.com. And you know how we do. Um, yeah, so at this point, we're now just waiting for our special guest. And uh, while we're waiting for him, I probably should have put a bout in here. And uh, that way we could, you know, highlight about as well. The thing that we're going to do during the live streams is we're going to go over. We're definitely going to go over the tournaments that are be coming up. Um, we're going to go. Uh, we'll have a special guest. Um, and then we'll also kind of uh, highlight about that has taken place, whether this year or last year. And just kind of, you know, show off some of the bouts that, that have taken place and show some love to some of these boxers that that are out there doing their thing. You know what I mean? So we're going to do that. And then um, any suggestion that you guys have, you know, let me know. And then we'll implement it onto the show. You know what I mean? And uh, anybody that wants to be on and might want to be on with their coach or, you know, anything like that, we can bring up to eight people into the live stream. So that's pretty cool as well. We can have a chat with, uh, you know, a boxer and his trainer or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, sky's the limit. We can do a whole bunch, a whole bunch of stuff. So, yeah, man, that's where we're at. That's where we're at right now. So I'm excited. I'm super excited. Um, part of the reason why 
uh, being able to live stream directly to the website was important, not just for me, but I think for everybody is that, again, we won't have any interruptions from any of the YouTube rules or any of the Facebook rules where, uh, you know, your live stream gets cut off or, you know, there begins to be issues or anything like that. Everything's directly to the website. There's no in between. So, um, yeah, if a DJ's playing music and the music has copyrights, we don't get, you know, we don't get cut off. And then all of a sudden you have to go back on, but now it's a new link. So everybody that was watching, now everybody has to scramble and try to see where's the new link at, where's you know, where are the bouts taking place and this, that, whatever, you know what I mean? So it'll be, it'll be nice. It'll be very, very nice. Um, I got someone that just popped in. So let's see what's going on with this gentleman real quick. But uh, before we do that, we're going to play our commercial again, just because after the commercial, we'll bring him in and then, you know, give him his proper introduction. So y'all bear with us. Be right back. Check it out. All right, all right. Big shout out to Title Boxing and a big shout out to my special guest, the one and only, a.k.a. Mr. Amateur Boxer, a.k.a. Mr. Professional Boxer, a.k.a. Head Coach, The Coach, and the one and only Mr. Richard Best from Texas. What's going on, boss? How you doing, man? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Excited, Doing bro. good. Doing good, doing good. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh... Getting our live stream on, you know what I'm saying? And uh, glad to have you on as our special guest. Um, you know, uh, just for everybody that's out there listening, you might get a little bit of an echo. Uh, that's on my end. I couldn't get my headphones with a, with a cord, so I couldn't apply to it. So there might be a little bit of an echo, but bear with us. It won't be too bad. You guys will be okay. All right? All right, Mr. Best, let's, uh, let's get it started, bud. So... Um, as we get started, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, like where you're from? Um, what was it growing up as as Richard Best as a little kid? Mm, okay, well, I'm going to start my boxing. Uh, I started boxing when I was like at thir 13 years old out of Fort Worth, Texas. I was an amateur for six years, then I turned pro. But my amateur career, I had maybe about... 30 fights in the Golden Gloves, uh, USA Nationals, Western Trials. Uh, and then I turned professional. Uh, I had 20 professional fights. Uh, didn't have the best pro career, you know, uh, ups, downs. I was just that tough kid that didn't think he had to train. Uh, and then I got out of that and I started training amateurs. And I did that for a while. <clears throat> and then I started training professionals. Did that for a while. Got out of that and then moved on to doing personal training for boxing. I mean, not no fitness. I wanted to train, you know, the mainly adults that just wanted to learn the boxing the art of it and that's what i dedicated myself to okay so um during these um these experiences from you know everything from you know your amateurs first of all your amateurs you were a beast right because obviously you went to a lot of the the big tournaments and whatnot and um what was the experience like as a you know as you were as you were going through the ranks of the amateurs what was that like now that you know a little bit about masters what was the difference between like the kid amateurs versus like a masters amateur well back then in the gyms you know i mean it's uh it was 
uh, not everybody had it. All right, let's get that out the way. So there was maybe 30 kids in the gym and the coaches wouldn't really pay attention to the kids that were just in there, just wanted, I guess their parents wanted them to fight, but you have to have something deep down inside that drives you to work hard and train and want to be the best, right? And for me, I had that. So I didn't have to pay a fee or anything like that at them gyms. All I, all I needed to do was to show up, show up and work hard and train. You know, I really did it all myself. I believed in myself so much that, you know, I just wanted to go to the gym. And there were certain times I couldn't go to the gym. You know, we didn't have a ride. I caught the city bus right after getting out of school. I would go home, get ready, catch the city bus to the gym from South Fort Worth all the way to North Fort Worth for three years straight, right? <clears throat> but when you have something like you're working towards and you believe in yourself, no matter what, you're going to put in the hard work, right? And you're going you're gonna to do whatever it takes to go to the gyms. Well, anyways, in the Golden Gloves, I would advance to the finals every time when I turned open. You know, I was when I was novice, I was just hurting these guys, getting them out of there in the first or second round to the body. Body shots were my thing. And, you know, that would him to the body, they would curl up, and, and, and that was it started getting uh, uh, fight offers, you know, like to go to Boise, Idaho and fight in the Western Trials or just go to uh, San Antonio and fight in the USA Nationals, you know, regionals, nationals. <clears throat> the first time I ever flew somewhere to fight was Boise, Idaho. And believe it or not, I flew first class. And I was like, man, this is nice. It's a different, you know, I'm, you know, you don't, I didn't have, a lot growing up, you know, I was single. My mom was a single parent growing up on welfare, stuff like that. So the first time I flew in an airplane and it was first class, that was a eye opener. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I can, I can do this. And of course there's no pay, right? You go, you fight, ups, downs. Yeah. Depending on how you train and you win or lose, you win some you lose some but you got to keep going you never give up right yeah yeah so that was the amateurs and then when i turned pro it was different because it was a business side of it you know they're gonna pay me to perform right yeah, yeah. so it was different i mean that wasn't my first pro fight i think i made four hundred dollars i knocked yeah. the guy out in the first round the crowd went crazy and in my head i'm like thinking four hundred dollars for this i mean they should pay me a little bit more right Everybody wanted to autograph pictures and stuff like that. So you get that high from it. Yeah. And everything is business, right? Everybody, I mean, they pay our way up there. They give us food vouchers, whatever. And believe it or not, sometimes they hold money for the room on, off your purse that they're paying you wherever in Vegas or whatever. Don King did that a lot. And, and then you leave and then you get that money back. But, I mean, you learn a lot. You meet a lot of people. You, I mean, a lot of uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, you know, Mike Tyson, yeah. Oscar De La Hoya, believe it or not, you know, met up with Oscar one time when I fought on his car and went out to the club afterwards. <laughs> and <laughs> that was way back in the day. <laughs> and, you know, it's just boxing is a metaphor to life, right? You get what you put in. Yeah. There's no shortcuts. There's no walking in the gym. There's so many guys that walk in the gym. Oh, I want the toughest guy in here. How many fights have you had? 20 fights in the street. Okay, we'll get in the, in the ring. Gets in the ring, two shots, he's down. Done. On the count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just that's I think just at some point right. or another, everybody runs into one of those guys, bro. <laughs> All the time. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. But um, so with these experiences now as a coach, you know, you're coaching some of the master boxers um, who have been really successful. They've been doing a great job. So uh, kudos to you. You know, what I'm saying that shows off the work that you put with them. Um, what do you think of master boxing? 
Master boxing, it's a good thing for, for master boxers. You know, max, master boxers are what? Oh, shoot. 35 and up, right? Yeah. The age. Okay. Hold up. Shout out to my top 10 contenders. I mean, I got three of them. So, uh, Stan <laughs> Sobolowski. I know he's, uh, I don't know if I pronounced his last name right. Uh, Dustin Haney, uh, Melvin Foster, and Dr. Felipe Garcia. Those are like, a true inspiration yeah in masters because they work so hard at it but <clears throat> i think it's good it's a good thing like to uh give these guys you know that didn't get get an opportunity to box when they were younger and just put them on an even playing field so they could execute their skills i mean just to show off yeah and showcase whatever they have and <clears throat> i mean i see a lot of boxers out there a lot of masters that get out there and they don't don't have a coach and just go from there i mean that's not gonna be cheap you're probably gonna have to pay your coach you're gonna probably have to pay a gym fee there's nothing free yeah and just go from there and it's just again that belt man it's just the satisfaction that i get when they win we we put in the work in the gym right and then you go go out there wherever it may be we went to new jersey we went to las vegas here recently we go a lot to Houston to Bobby uh, Benton uh, Boxing Gym, Main Street. Yeah. Shout out to him. And it's a satisfaction, man. I, I can't even describe it. I mean, I feel like crying sometimes, man, but I got to stay tough. I hear you. Know, you. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a special, it's a special bond and a special feeling when, uh, you, know, when you know, when you're out there and stuff, man, because like you said, it's a, uh, it's that hard work that you put in and then here's your chance to show off what you learned, um, how you can adapt and execute. You know what I mean? And when mm -hmm. you're box as a coach, when your boxers actually, you know, actually achieve all that and, and, and it's in the ring and you see it, it, it and you see it develop. Um, it's just an amazing feeling. You know what I mean? Definitely. Um, you know, and a, a lot of people ask like, What's it like to, to compete in Masters? It's hard to say, bro, because it's hard to describe. It's something that you have to experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like you were saying, man, this is this is a big thing I think that some people like miss out on is that it's not something that you could just hit a heavy bag and then that's it. You know what I mean? People train for real. Like people really mm. train. This isn't like tough men or you know fighting in back of a bar or something like that you know what i mean this mm -hmm. is real people training you know three four or five days a week and you know trying to achieve their goal you know what i mean so yeah. um definitely you should get a coach definitely you got to put the time in and you have to build that bond to where like yourself when you have your your boxers it's your responsibility to let them know when they're ready and when they're not you know what i mean and and that's oh, yeah. the important part where your boxers are being successful because you trained them to a certain point where they can actually compete and be successful you know what i mean so kudos to you oh, brother yeah. great job um yeah man and stan stands on here he says uh rich teaches us how to win you know what i mean so uh oh yeah and just to cover up that point you know all my experience in fights, you know, with guys that are former world champions. I trained uh, with Pauli Ayala, former world champ out of Fort Worth, Texas. You know, his trainers were mine. I sparred him a lot. Uh, but just fighting guys, like at the top amateur level, you know, you would think their mentality is to get in there and destroy, right? Right. Get in there and let me just knock this guy out. No, it's not. That was my mentality. And that was my downfall for not winning a lot of fights because I'm getting yeah. there with no game plan. I'm tough. I'm just going to come in swinging. And they just had the technical side of it down, stick and move, kind of like the Mayweather style and somehow or aggressive and stuff like that. And that's, I got a lot of losses because of that, right? So it's a yeah. thinking man sport. And you have to have somebody in your corner that understands that. You know, if you're ready to fight, you're ready. We try to cover everything just because you never know what you're going to get at the Masters. I mean, you're going to fight in your weight division, five pounds up, five pounds down, and close to their age. You know what I'm saying? So 
you just have to get somebody with experience that knows how to win. And that's my background in boxing. You know, I had a rough boxing career, but I had a lot of great yeah. trainers. And that's what a lot of guys don't have. I mean, I see some gyms and stuff like that. I, I give them respect because they're doing, they're trying to do the right thing, right? But yeah. at the end of the day, this is nothing to play with. It's yeah. somebody's life. Yeah. And these hands, they'll do some damage for life. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that's, a, that's a key thing is, uh, you know, when you have someone with experience that's teaching you, you know what I'm saying, and then you see their track record as a coach as well. You know what I'm saying? Because it's one thing to be a boxer. It's another thing to be a coach. In a successful coach, you know what I'm saying? So laying that foundation of success, you know, speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, yeah. So, so great job, man. Hey, hey I just wanted to say, man, I appreciate everything that you're doing for the masters. You know, that community. That, that, I know it's hard sometimes. Keep a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep trucking, bro. Just don't give up. Don't give up, man. Oh, you for know, sure. we just got to put the man up above, man. Thank God for everything he's done for us, everything he's going to do. You know what I mean? And just never give up because he he's the one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just keep the faith faith up. Yeah, no, it, it's a blessing. The same way it's, uh, you know, the, the same way people appreciate the things that I've been doing, um, I appreciate a lot of you guys too because they're friendships that, uh, that I would have never had. You know what I'm saying? And I've had some friendships where... Um, people that become like family to me, you know what I mean? Um, and like you said, man, like I'll be at a tournament, man. And, and sometimes I get emotional, bro. You know what I mean? Just because like <laughs> I see these people that work so hard to get there and now they're there and they're performing and they're doing their thing. You know what I mean? You know, obviously everybody wants to win, but forget the win and losses, man. It, it's, there's so many more things that you win because you're doing it, man, from, you know, from fixing your health. If you, if you, I've had guys, bro, oh, that yeah. had diabetes that, you know, were, you know, 150 pounds overweight and they show up, bro. And they're in good health. They, they're not taking medicine anymore. And, you know, they've won, bro. They've won. No matter what happens in the ring, they've won because their, their, their life is going to prolong. You know what I mean? And, uh, obviously you want to see them do well and everything, but, you know, there's so many things that go into this, man. And uh, the community becomes a family. And, you know, I love all you guys, man. Like, you know, me and you have, we've known each other for a couple of years now, man. And now I'm looking forward to seeing you every time you go to a tournament. You know what I mean? We how, look how out for each other and stuff, each other? you know? How long have we known each other? Um, I'm going to say probably three, four years, maybe. So I could start. Uh, can I borrow some money then since we known each other that long? <laughs> <laughs> of course brother you know what I'm saying your family bro I'm so yeah yeah yeah. yeah yeah so basically because your family I know I'm not gonna get it back so but that's all right that's all right that's another that, that, that's a story for another day <laughs> all right we got we got a couple people in here let me see let me see what they're saying we have uh doc is in here and he says uh Richards is, is old school go. trainer one of the best thank you coach so that's one of your boxes, uh, good old, good old Doc, oh, and Doc, Doc man. man um, I gotta tell you, man, Doc has Doc, been. Man. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. I... Let me tell you something about Doc, man. He's the hardest worker, you know. I've met Doc, what, 2016, 2015. I mean, that guy never stops working, man. He's an inspiration yeah. to a lot of people around here, and, uh, and even the masters. You see what he does, man. I yeah. Mean, I, yeah. Respect to him. Yeah. Oh yeah, and not just that, bro, but in the ring. He does his thing, but even, even, I mean, he's helped us out. He helped us out in New Jersey, bro, when we were in a tight jam. We needed a doctor. Homie just volunteered and said, hey, I'd be more than happy to help out. You know what I mean? With uh, with no expectation, you know what I mean? So big shout out to Doc. And Doc has a documentary he's going to be coming out with. So let us know whenever that's ready, Doc. We want to make sure we show it some love. We're looking forward to checking that out for sure. Oh, heck yeah. And then uh, let's see who else is on here. Uh, Emily. She says, you the best. So I don't know if that's for you or for me, bro, but, you know, we'll, we'll share I that. I show her my driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> and then St Stan says, don't sleep on Doc's right hand. Boom. 
Doc has a Doc's right hand, bro. Everybody knows about Doc. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we even got a little rich up in here. And he says, uh, love you, Dad. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Man, you're going to make me tear up, man. <laughs> you right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. But see, this is the thing, bro. This, this is the great thing about, um, and this is what a lot of people don't see. They just see the bouts and that's it. It's it, it's it's a lot of love, man. It's a lot of friendships, a lot of relationships that are built, and a lot of trust. You know what I mean? And that's the big thing that uh, I love, man. I, I just love it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, like like anything, we have our ups and downs and all that. But at oh, the yeah. end of the day, brother, this 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 right here, that's what means the most to me. You know what I mean? So so yeah, man. Um, little Rich, uh, your dad sends his love right back. Even though he's probably gonna see you in a couple minutes, but oh, no, uh, let's see. He's the one who uh, texted me. He said, "Hurry up and get on there because we're waiting on you." <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, anybody else? If anybody has any questions or anything, throw them out. Uh, Doc says, "Thank you, Manny. Love you guys." Rich and I go way back. Yeah. So that's good, man. Uh, let's see. Omar. Omar, El Profe Lopez is on El here. Profe. He says, excellent interview with great insight about coaching. Thank you, Coach Best, uh, for sharing your wisdom. Andale. Hey, that's another one, bro. Omar? Omar's a beast, bro. top of the line. Yeah, bro. I knocked him out, though, bro. Hey, you know what? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, bro. Huh? When are we going to set up our fight? Pay-per-view. Ah, uh, let me let me lose a couple more pounds, bro. I'm work on it. I'm gonna work on it. Next year, next year I'm gonna get in there, bro. Uh, let's see. Brad says, uh, Brad uh, again, Mister uh, Master Boxer of the Year. He says, jumping in late, but made it. <laughs> Thanks for jumping in, uh, Brad. Um, hate I missed a lot of it. Don't worry about it, brother. We're gonna. Um, I am recording it, so I will put it, upload it to uh, YouTube. And then we'll be able to play it back. You know what I mean? Um, we will be creating a library of all our interviews and everything. So at any time, people can go back and check them out. You know what I mean? Because um, I think this is something special when we can share our um, experiences and everything that we do as Master Boxers. And a lot of you guys are inspirations for others. You know what I mean? They'll see this and you guys instantly become inspirations for others. You know what I mean? And uh, so, yeah. Um, but that's what we got so far, brother. Well, listen, man, thank you for jumping on. I don't want to take too much of your time, man. Thank you for sharing some, some of your uh, experiences and everything. Um, Richard is also one of those guys that's very, very, um, helpful throughout the tournaments. Like if someone needs their hand wraps or they need that, you know, their coach isn't there and they need some help. Um, he always jumps on and helps us out. So we appreciate everything that you do, boss. Uh, you know, we, we, we talk, we talk for days, you know what I'm saying? And, and we've known each other for a little bit now. And, uh, I just, look, I, like I said, I look forward to seeing you at every event. You know what I mean? So, uh, next one, uh, Stan's going to buy us a drink. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Stan says, Manny going to fight 189 next year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can get to 189, bro. My goal is to get to 200. So I don't have to deal with the super heavies. You know what I mean? I don't have to deal with uh, Mr. Ginn over there, but uh, yeah, man, we're gonna we're gonna work it, man. We're gonna work it out. It, it's more for fitness than anything, but it'll be nice to get back into the ring and you know have a little fun. You know what I mean? So I know a lot of people want to kick my ass, so <laughs> they give me a line. <laughs> so it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> but thank you, brother. Again, any shout outs? Any um, <clears throat> any last comments? Any any advice that you want to give out? Please. The floor is yours, brother. I just want to, and I wore the cap. You see it? No boxing. Yeah. No That's the believe one. Believe in yourself. Master boxers, just believe in yourself, man. And remember, like, I'm, I put God first in my life. So put God first. And there's nobody that's going to believe in you more than hard work. Hard work. Believe in yourself. Believe in God. Keep moving forward. You can get that belt, that master's belt you've been dreaming of. Just put in the work. Get you a trainer. Go to a gym. 
and just learn the techniques. And I mean, it takes a lot, but you can do it. Yeah. You, got, you heard it from me. Absolutely. If, uh, if for those that, that have been tuning in to some of these interviews and everything, it, the, the message has been the same throughout is hard work. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Ginn, who's very successful, hard work got him there. You know what I'm saying? Coach Best, hard work got him there. Hard work gets his boxers there. You know what I mean? So don't be afraid of the hard work. Put that time in. You'll, you'll, you'll earn your reward. And when you earn a belt, it's the greatest feeling in the world. You know what I'm saying? So. I just want to say, if, if Stan and Richard are still on, y'all sparring tomorrow morning, so be ready. Stan and Richard, you're sparring tomorrow morning, so get ready with the big dog. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> All right, Richard. Thank you, man. We, we appreciate Anytime, you, brother. brother. Anytime. Um, and then we'll see you next time, brother. Thanks, bro. Bye. All right, all right. There we have it. Mr. Richard Best. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think? What do you guys think of uh, Mr. Richard Best? What do you guys think of the live stream so far? Um, have, have you guys uh, had any issues with it? It seems like everything's been going pretty clean, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty smooth. What do you guys think? Uh, we got Doc that says, Masters has given me a new life. I think that goes for a lot of us, Doc. Um, you know, it's um, for me, even for me on the other side, um, just seeing your guys' accomplishments, uh, seeing you guys uh, perform and do your thing, it's a big inspiration, you know what I mean? As a former boxer that, uh, you know, got overweight, um, it's a great inspiration to get back in shape and, uh, and do the things that you guys are doing. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate all of you guys. You guys have done an amazing job. This is our new thing, man. I'm so happy, um, that we're able to live stream directly to the website. You know what I mean? It's going to eliminate so many problems and, uh, we're going to be doing so much, so much more things now that we don't have any restrictions that will uh, cut us off or eliminate our, um, our memberships and all this different stuff that happens with some of these, uh, these social media platforms. Not that they're bad because they help the social media platforms has helped us out. We will use YouTube to upload our videos and then we'll have them on the website as well. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, when we have our, uh, our, um, tournaments and everything to be able to have them on, you know, our website and then you guys can chat with each other and you know who's next who's that you know what i'm saying so uh it's gonna be it's gonna be good it's gonna be really good and then we're gonna implement you know like um we're gonna implement like a bout of the week so we'll highlight some of the boxers and their bout uh you know and just different things so um another thing for those of you that won an award for the yearly award um it will go out on friday i'll take some pictures tomorrow of the plaques and then they will go out on Friday, so you'll receive it sometime next week. Okay? So all of you that uh, are award winners, uh, congratulations. Um, I'll have... Uh, that's another thing that we're going to put up on the website, is we're going to put all our award winners from events, as well as from, uh, you know, our yearly uh, roundup and whatnot. Um, Ed has a question. He says, hey, man, I've stopped drinking and smoking cigarettes. Been two years. Master Sparks and help me. Uh, why that? And I thank you. Why that? And I thank you. Um, well, thank you, Ed, for sharing. Um, again, you know, this is the thing is that, you know, when, when people are able to share their experiences, uh, what's gone from, you know, whether it's health or whether it's, uh, you know, we smoke cigarettes, we drink, we do this or that. And uh, boxing helps us eliminate all that. It's a great thing, you know what I mean? So congratulations to you uh, for that, and uh, keep it up, man. Keep it up. Uh, Doc says, Ed, proud of you, bro. Keep up the hard work. Exactly, see? And we're a community, so we support each other. And that's what people need to understand. And, um, you know, for those of you that might be watching that uh, might be considering becoming a master boxer or not, um, just understand that we are a community. We support each other. 
we beat the crap out of each other in the ring, but outside the ring, we are a community that wants to support each other and make sure that everybody's good. You know what I mean? So um, that's why we have these platforms. That's why we do these. And that's why we try to answer any questions that people might have and share people's stories uh, to hopefully inspire others. All right. All right, everybody. So let me go through. I'm going to go through the website one more time so you guys can see what's new and improved. But before that, um, I have a video from Doug Ward who's going to show us a little bit of some techniques on the speed bag that uh, I showed before, but there's been a couple of requests for it. So let's check out our man, Doug Ward, Title Boxing. Check him out. Hi, I'm Douglas Ward with Title Boxing, and I'm going to show you today what I would consider to be three more advanced techniques on working the speed bag. Now, I'm not talking about uh, striking it backwards or, uh, or hitting it with your elbow or bouncing it with your head. Those are all very fun and cool, but they don't really apply to the sport. I'm going to show you three things that can actually you can apply that will make you a better fighter, that will enhance your training. The first one I like, I don't see a lot of guys do it anymore, but it's the forward strike. And what I like about that is you're striking with the, with the front of your hand, with the front of your fist. So you have to have to naturally rotate your shoulder and come across your body just like you would when you're punching. What I like about this is you're striking with the front part of your hand, with your fist, with a hard fist. It's not as forgiving as the side of your fist, what you see a lot of people doing. They do this technique where every strike is with the side of their fist. When you incorporate your hand, it's harder and it increases the level of difficulty. The second technique is trapping the bag. This is, this is fun because it's very difficult. Your timing has to be perfect, but it also turns the speed bag into a power punching device. And you're basically just stopping the bag at the point of impact when it makes, when it makes contact with, with the platform itself. Again, you have to be punching perfectly. Everything has to be exact. You can't miss or you're gonna hit the platform. It, it just takes a lot of concentration and focus to get this right, but it's gonna add to your routine. The third technique is actually boxing the bag. This is really difficult because you're stepping away. You're furthering the distance between you and the speed bag. So it's maintaining the same amount of speed, but you have a longer distance to travel. So you've got to get your punches off faster. You've got to make contact and you constantly have to have to watch that bag and get that timing down to box it from a distance. But again, you're at long distance. You're using your jab. You're using a straight right hand. It's more boxing specific. This really plays into what you'd be doing in the gym, what you would be doing in, in, in the ring. It replicates real, actual fight technique, which I love about it. You know, there's the old age argument between yesterday's coaches and today's trainers, old time fighters and today's fighters, of whether the speed bag really has applications to the sport, if it has a place in your boxing training routine. And I say without question, yes because when you use it properly, like this, when you use proper boxing technique, proper form to execute those punches, it really applies to the sport. It has a place in your training routine and it will make you a better fighter. Today's trainers, old time fighters and today's fighters. All right, everyone, we're gonna finish up with the little uh, rundown on what's new with the website and what we've, we've implemented and what will be coming on next on the website. So here's the front of the website. We have some new pictures up that are flashing at the very top. Um, what we wanna do also is add information, maybe the next tournament that's coming up, we'll put a little, a little picture there with the date and information. Um, also, kind of like this, where it says Masters right, Boxing everyone, Live Stream, new guest every week. Uh, um, what's new with you the know, website, so we'll do something like that. And, and, and then if you scroll down, and what you'll see we have USA Masters on Boxing, on website, so and it'll tell you website, how to become a Master Boxer, or what Masters Boxing top, is, and then um, what are the what steps that you need to become a Master Boxer. Below that, we have the Masters Boxing donations. So anybody that wants to donate to help out with the website, or help out with the live streaming that is Cost you a little bit, but uh, well worth it. Um, you know, this would help out, like and we would really appreciate any help that we can get. Uh, below that, obviously, we have our live stream. As you can see, it's live. We have our chat room and everything that's going on there. Uh, below that, we have more information about Masters Boxing. Below that, we have that upcoming events. So, so uh, one of the upcoming events, we kind of highlight so people know what's going on. Now, if you go all the way back to the top, in our main menu, if you click on the events page, you will see that. Below that, obviously. 
we have updated all the master tournaments and these are master tournaments only these are not you know uh a tournament of kids and then they're including masters with it these are tournaments for master boxers okay so we have like the rude dog boxing that is coming up may 20th to the 21st uh the doc doherty boxing classic and then we have the midwest masters boxing tournament in july in august we have the dallas masters boxing invitational uh same thing in august uh later on in august we also have the Gleason's Tournament. And then in September, we have the New Jersey Masters Boxing Championships. Um, these are the tournaments that we know that are, in fact, in the books and will be taking place. So if you're looking to find out what tournament is up or what tournaments there are available, these are the ones. And you can always go to the website, click on the events link, and that's what you have. Um, the other thing that we're going to do um, that will come, be, be coming up pretty soon is we're going to update all our articles from the magazine and we're going to uh, do a library of those. Then we're also going to update our videos and, uh, you know, have those from each tournament, have the bouts from each tournament, you know, listed there. Uh, so you, you'll be able to watch the bouts and all that. And then we're going to have a library of all of our live streams that we're doing for example, like this one um, that will be on there as well. Um, like I said, every week we plan on doing a live stream where we uh, talk about tournaments, we talk about Masters Boxing, we have a special guest, and then we're going to have a bout of the week, and that'll start next week, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. If anybody has any questions or anything, please post them up. But this is it. This is what we wanted to kind of get out to you guys, kind of show you guys. And uh, I'm excited. Uh, I know a lot of people are excited to be able to have the live stream going directly to our website. Um, I think it's going to make a huge, huge difference. Uh, once again, thank you all. Appreciate you all. Post your questions, comments, anything like that. I'll leave the, the, the chat comments on there. So at any time you can come back, you have a question, you can post it up and we can go over it on the next live stream. All right. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of your evening. Thank you all for joining me. And uh, we'll see you guys later on in the week, if not next week. All right. Take care. And we are out of here.